The satirical poem, The Ball at the Opera, by Julian Tuam delves into the themes of power, corruption, and societal decadence. Through vivid imagery, biting irony, and a richly layered narrative, Tuam crafts a scathing critique of the political and social elites of his time. The poem is set against the backdrop of an extravagant opera ball, a symbol of opulence and superficiality, where the veneer of civility and sophistication barely conceals the moral decay and hypocrisy of the attendees. Tuim's use of language is both elaborate and caustic, painting a grotesque picture of the aristocracy and politicians who frequent the opera. The ball itself becomes a microcosm of society, reflecting the absurdity and emptiness of the lives of the upper echelons. The poet's keen observational skills are evident in his meticulous description of the guests, whose outward appearances and behaviors are depicted with a mix of humor and contempt. The lavish costumes and masks worn by the attendees symbolize their duplicity and the disconnect between their public personas and private vices. The narrative voice in The Ball at the Opera is distinctly sardonic, often addressing the reader directly to highlight the absurdity of the scenes unfolding. Tuim employs a range of literary devices, including irony, hyperbole, and metaphor, to underscore his criticisms. The grandeur of the opera house, with its glittering chandeliers and sumptuous decor, is juxtaposed with the petty and sordid actions of its guests, creating a powerful contrast that exposes the hollowness of their existence. One of the central themes of the poem is the corruption and moral bankruptcy of the ruling class. Tuim does not shy away from depicting the venality and decadence of politicians and aristocrats, whose pursuit of pleasure and power comes at the expense of integrity and virtue. The opera ball, with its elaborate performances and superficial displays of culture, serves as a metaphor for the performative nature of their lives. Beneath the surface charm and elegance lies a world of deceit, manipulation, and moral compromise. Tuim's portrayal of the opera ball also serves as a broader commentary on the state of society. The excess and extravagance of the event stand in stark contrast to the realities faced by the common people, highlighting the social and economic disparities of the time. The poet's critique extends beyond the individual characters to encompass the entire system that enables and perpetuates such inequities. Through his biting satire, Tuim calls into question the values and priorities of a society that prizes appearance over substance and self-interest over the common good. The structure of the poem, with its rhythmic and often musical quality, mirrors the theatricality of the opera itself. Tuim's skillful use of verse and rhyme enhances the lyrical and performative aspects of the poem, drawing the reader into the world of the opera ball while simultaneously maintaining a critical distance. The poem's cadence and flow, punctuated by sharp wit and incisive commentary, create a dynamic and engaging reading experience. The Ball at the Opera remains a powerful and relevant work, resonating with contemporary audiences through its exploration of timeless themes. Tuim's incisive critique of the elite, his deft use of satire, and his masterful command of language combine to create a work that is both a product of its time and a universal indictment of corruption and decadence. The poem's vivid imagery and rich symbolism invite readers to reflect on the nature of power, the role of art and culture in society, and the enduring tension between appearance and reality. In conclusion, The Ball at the Opera by Julian Tuim is a masterful satirical poem that exposes the hypocrisy and moral decay of the political and social elite. Through its vivid imagery, biting irony, and richly layered narrative, the poem offers a scathing critique of the excesses and inequities of society. Tuim's skillful use of language and literary devices creates a powerful and engaging work that continues to resonate with readers, offering insights into the timeless themes of power, corruption, and societal decadence.